Hello guys, a very good morning. So we are going to continue our chapter 3 with uh, valence shell electron pair repulsion vs EPR theories. So a molecular geometry is a three-dimensional arrangement of atom in a molecule. So a molecular geometry affects its physical and chemical properties such as melting point, boiling point, density and type of reaction undergoes. So the basic fundamental concepts of VSBL theory is based on the three general rules before. Uh, number one is says the electron electron pair repulse is concerns. So double bond and triple bonds can be treated like a single bond. So in other words, only sigma bond is considered in this case. So if a molecule has two or more resonance structure, we can apply to VSBL theory to any model of them. So formal charge are usually not shows. And the order of the repulsion strength of lone pair and bond pair are in such order, where lone pair lone pair electron repulsions are the strongest, followed by lone pair bond pair electron repulsions, and bond pair bond pair repulsion is the weakest among all of them. So uh, by knowing the number of the surrounding atoms and the lone pair electrons, you'll be able to more or less tell the shape of a molecule. So below are going to, I'm going to we are going to share about the 13 basic shapes of in VSEPL theory. So let's have a look one by one. So uh, if you have two surround atom and no lone pair electrons, so the molecular geometry take place in here is a linear shape. So examples of molecule that take place in linear shapes are carbon dioxide and barium chloride. So this uh, SAB2 has the same structure as in SP hybridizations. Next, we are going to have a look at AB3. So AB3 indicates that there are three surrounding atoms, no lone pair electrons. So the molecular geometry for AB3 is trigonal planar. So something like this. Example, ALCL3, BF3, and NO3-. So um, AB3 is similar to the hybridization concept as we learned earlier in SP2 hybridizations. Then, if we change one of the surrounding atoms to become a lone pair electrons, so you have two, uh, two bond pair, one lone pair. So the molecular uh, arrangements is similar to trigonal planar. However, molecular geometry takes shape of a band shape. Examples is sulfur dioxide, ozone, and nitrites ions. So uh, this is how uh, AB2E looks like. Now, if you have four surround atoms and no lone pair electrons, it takes the shape of the tetrahedral structures. So examples of molecule that undergoes uh, AB4 has tetrahedral shapes are CH4, SiCl4, and sulfate ions. So uh, this one is resembles to the hybridization concept that we learned earlier, which is sp3 hybridizations. So uh, if change one of the lone pair elect one of the bond pair to become lone pair electron, so you have three bond pair and one lone pair. So as a result, there is this repulsion that will make the shape uh, shape to become uh, arrangement similar to tetrahedral, but the shape is a trigonal planar pyramidal. Sorry, trigonal pyramidal. Examples are ammonia, PCl3, and SO3 two minus. Then. If another, uh, if there are two lone pair electrons and two bond pair atoms, so it will still takes the shape similar to a tetrahedral, but the geometrical shape is actually bent. For example, water, SCl2, and H2O2. Okay, so uh, these are all derivations from the tetrahedral structures. If we have five surround atom but no lone pair electrons, the molecular shape take place in here is trigonal by uh, by pyramidals. So, for example, if you have PCl5 and SpF5, they are going under these shapes. Okay. So, um, in terms of hybridizations, AB5 takes the hybridization of what we call as sp3d. Okay. So, if you change one of the lone pair elect uh, one of the bond pair to become lone pair electrons, so you have a uh, four four bond pair electrons, one lone pair electrons, and the shape take place in here. Arrangement is similar to trigonal by pyramidal, but the shape here is a seesaw. Example, SCL4 and PF4 minus. And uh, if we replace with another lone pair electrons, so you have a three bond pair, lone, bond pair, two lone pair. So three bond pair, two lone pair, we have the arrangement similar to trigonal by pyramidal, but the shape take place in here is a T shape. Example, ICL3 and BF3. Now if we have three surround uh, if we have three lone pair electron and two surround atoms, so it will make the molecular shapes to become a linear shape, even though the arrangement is similar to trigonal by pyramidals. So the shapes are examples of molecule that takes AB2E3s are I3 minus and BLCL2 minus. 
the next heavy, uh, the next VSCPL shapes that we are going to have a look is A B six, where you have six surround atom, no lone pair electron. The arrangement of the shape is based on octahedral, and examples of it are S F six. In terms in terms of hybridization theory, so uh, AB6 takes the hybridization of SB3D2. If one of the lone pair, if one of the bond pair is replaced by lone pair electron, so you have one lone pair electron and five uh, bond pair electron. So the arrangement is similar to octahedral, but the shape is called as a square pyramidal. So example is B SBCl52 minus and IF5 in here. Now, uh, last but not least, we have uh, what happens if there are two lone pair electron and four surround atom. So the arrangement is similar to octahedral, but the shape is a square planar. So you have XEF4 and BRF4 minus. Okay. So now here comes the problems. So how are we going to identify the number? Uh, what are the shape and arrangements similar to? So we ba deduce based on the. Uh, number of bond pair and number of lone pair electron. So how are we going to identify number of bond pair and lone pair? I'm going to outline a few step, easy steps for you to uh, easily remember on how to uh, draw the Lewis structure and in order to identify lone pair bond pair so that you can tell the shapes of molecule. So these are the order. Step 1. Calculate the total number of valence electrons from all atoms in the molecule. If a molecule is an ion, depend on the type of ion, the number of electrons are added or subtracted accordingly. Then you arrange all atoms surrounding to the center atom by using a pair of electron per bond. So you minus off the total from the total calculated in step one. So two electrons per bond form. After that, you assign the remaining electrons to the terminal atom so that each terminal will have eight electrons. So all you have to do is you put six electrons per surround atoms. And in step four, there are two alternative ways. There is a possibility where they have a leftover electron. So if there is leftover electrons, you put it at the center of the atom. Or if the electron does not achieve octet yet, so you form a multiple bond uh, in order to achieve the octet states. So with that hesitation, let's have a look at the few examples. So let's have a look at first example, phosphorus trichloride PCL3. So since phosphorus is from group 15, 5 electron, uh, chlorine is from group 17, 7 electron. So 5 electron and 3, uh, 3 Cl, so you have 3 times 7 electron. Total electrons is 26. Step 2. So since you have P and Cl3, so phosphorus is a center atom, you have 3 surrounded atom that makes you of 3 bond pair. So 3 bond pair makes you of 6 electron. So from the remaining here is 20 electrons. Step 3. Place uh, the surround atoms to make it to become octet by placing 6 electrons in it. So you have 6 electrons surrounding each Cl. So since you have 3 atoms, so 3 times 6 will become 18. So 20 of the electrons brings down and then you have 18 electrons. So the remaining electron is 2. And then, uh, since there are extra electrons, so the remain is placed at the center. So this is the Lewis structure of PCl3 looks like. So based on this structure, you can see that it has one lone pair and three bond pair. So based on the structure, it has the molecular form. Uh, if you have a molecular arrangement similar to tetrahedral, but the shape is a trigonal pyramidos. Next example, we have carbonates ions. So carbon is from group 14, which has four valence electron. Uh, oxygen is from group 16, so six electrons. So since you have CO3, that means time three. And then you have two electrons, which is accepted by the CO3 two minus. So total electrons in here is 24. So, um, as in a step two, place one bond in between the C and the O. So you have C O looking like this. So you have three surround atoms. So uh, since you use uh, six, uh, three bonds, six electrons, therefore twenty four minus six, you have eighteen electrons. So the next step is place the it uh, each uh, make the surround atom to become octet first. So you have uh, six electrons to make each atoms of the surrounding become octet. So since you have three atoms, so three times six, you get 18. So the leftover electron is zero. However, not that carbon still only has six electrons. So what to do? We follow step 4b. Since the center atom C not yet achieved octet, you form a multiple bond by using any parts in here. So you use, for example, here, and you must bracket two minus, it shows that two electrons are accepted. So based on this one, we can tell that since it has three surround atom, so the shape is a trigonal planar. Then we have iodine tetrachloride ICL4 minus. So both iodine and chlorines are from group 
uh, 17 so you have uh, 7 electron plus 4 times 7 electron and you have ICL minus means that there is one electron accepted so total electron in here is 36 so you form a bond in between I and CL so I and CL we have 4 bonds so 4 bonds require 8 electrons so 36 minus 8 you have 28 electrons third step make the surround atoms to become octet so you have uh, ICL4 so each uh, chlorine has been achieved so octet so 4 atoms require 24 electrons so 28 minus 24 you have 4 remaining electrons and the remaining electron is placed at the center of the iodine so you have 2 lone pair and 4 bond pair electrons so since you have 2 lone pair 4 bond pair arrangement is similar to octa octahedral but the shape take place here is square planar so hopefully these PFGPL theories are able to help you to understand uh, how to do how to draw the Lewis structure and how to deduce the shape accordingly. So I see you in our next video. Thank you.